Friends and aspiring artists, welcome to another Liron time, the time for us to get to know each other. <laughs> Basically for you to get to know me because you can't talk back but you can comment. Uh, so that's a good thing. Um, today I want to talk a bit about inspiration and from my experience how I am sorry it's really uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, yes, okay now I'm better. Okay, so I want to talk about inspiration and how I get my inspiration from my experience. I'm definitely not an expert, but I can tell you that recently I feel much more inspired, much more uh, happy to create and to work, uh, which is something I have been struggling a lot in the past and still struggle with, frankly. Um, so we'll talk about that and how to actually get inspired to create more. Um, so first off, let's talk a bit about inspiration and motivation. I put these two in the same category, so when I say uh, one of them, you know I'm referring to both. Um, inspiration and motivation, because inspiration is sort of something that is inspire, inspires you to do something. So it's pretty similar to uh, motivation uh, by my book. So I'm just going to use those two um, the same way. Um, so being inspired and motivated, let's talk a bit about that. Feels good, right? You're like, you're all pumped up. You know what you want to do, you know what you want to draw or paint or sculpt or whatever it is, or design, graphic design, interior design, you know what you want, you, you have a direction and what I would say to describe a nuance of that feeling is that you actually feel like you, you feel the inherent value of what you're going to provide. It's like you know you have a clear concept of the value you're going to give to whoever uh, watches your art gets the service from you, whatever it is, um, and you kind of feel the value, like the immediate good value they'll get. Now, feeling uninspired, on the other hand, or demotivated, unmotivated, I'm not sure, um, to do something is, you don't know, you have no direction, you're kind of lost, it's ambiguity, confusion, stuff like that, it's not a really... Um, uh, good feeling. Yeah, it's it's like empty. You see you look at the empty blank page and you don't know what to do It's it's a it's a tough one to deal with um, I notice that for me and many people We can't control when we'll feel inspired and I think this is really true for a lot of people It's like one day you wake up and you're inspired the next you wake up and you're not inspired and you can not control it to some extent uh, by living healthily and working out and eating good food and um, living a well-balanced life. But you can hit a wall and sometimes even though everything's going fine and your work life is great and if your work life is your art life also it can work um, great but still you'll feel like you're you don't really know what to do, what to paint, what to draw, and it sucks. It's a, it's a feeling that's hard to deal with. Um, so, for me, most of the time, actually, until recently, and I think still, I, I don't feel like inspired or highly motivated to to do a specific piece of art. I open the the block, the painting block, and I'm like, okay, I really don't know what to do. It's not like um, I feel you know, yeah, I'm gonna paint this and that, and, and some people do, some people have that. I'm not one of them. Um, I really need to, every time, get a reference, get, like, to look at some stuff that, that really wakes me up and inspires me, and I was always like this. I always needed something to look at and maybe try to sort of recreate, or not copy, but, like, recreate it, let's say, that's the perfect word. Um, and... And that's me, that's my reality most of the time. So what I do and what a lot of people recommended me and what I recommended them is to actually um, just work despite that and sort of build a habit of doing what you know you should be doing regardless of how inspired you feel. Now it sounds very simple, just do it. Well, it's a bit more complex than that. For me, I know that every day I'm gonna draw and paint, no matter what. Even if my paintings are crap one after the other, I'll just continue. I'll continue working. Um, the reason why I want to do this is first I have to, it's my job basically. And second, it's what I call output versus input. So my approach is 
output first, then input. And what do I mean by that? Output means you actually do something. You do it, you paint, you draw, and then you get the input. Because the way the brain works for me and my body works uh, is like that. I first create and only then I get the inspiration, the motivation, everything I need. It's like your body is kind of, your brain is telling itself, oh, he's painting every day. He's putting out a lot. I'm gonna reward him with the resources he needs. You see what I mean? So this approach of working regardless uh, if you feel motivated or inspired or not, this is what works for me. Like every day I know I'll be um, doing that. So this forms a habit that makes me paint whatever whatever the circumstances are. And I feel like I'm rambling a bit. The point is this, my approach, output first, then input. Don't be like all the artists that are uh, input first, then output. They wait for an input, they wait for an idea, for an inspiration, and then go at it. You know, you may be someone that it works for. I don't know, some people maybe just sit around for a while, get the inspiration, create something amazing, sell it for tens of thousands of dollars, I don't know. But for me, I know that I need first to create the output and then I'll be rewarded with input. Um, like action is the thing that breeds uh, creation for me. So um, there's a really good book about it called The War of Art by Steven Pressfield. I recommend you check it out. Um, this is just my two cents on it. You know, whatever works for you, you really, I'm, I'm sure everyone should um, know themselves and know what works for them. For me, for sure, what works is first to create and only then I'll get the inspiration I need and every day I'll create no matter what. And then once every few creations, I'll get like that spark of inspiration. And the more I do it, the more I'm rewarded with it. So if I used to be around like 10% of the time motivated, maybe eight, I don't know if you can measure it that accurately, but that's what it feels for me. So now I'm more at 20% of the time I feel inspired, which is really cool. Um, that's it, just my uh, opinion on it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will, I plan on talking uh, more about topics like that in the future. Let me know what you think and if it helped you and how you uh, deal with feeling uninspired or unmotivated to create. And do you even deal with it or you just uh, decide to take a break and not do it? You know, whatever works for you. Uh, I'll be happy to hear in a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in another video. Until then, take care.